Hey, Phil from Got Memories here. Um, video 8 and Hi 8, again, more issues. Um, many, many with all these, all, many, many issues with all these old videotapes. 1980s, 1990s, um, everyone thinks that, you know, they're perfectly fine all these decades later. The playback equipment is perfect. No, couldn't be further from the truth. Um, this is why all these video transfer companies suck is because they don't know what's going on and they see this and they go, whoopsie, slap a sticker on it. Your tape is effed. Oh, well, here we go. Look at this. So sometimes if you see that static, it is because it's digital eight. Um, you can hear audio and you can hear the ding of a, a kid's bicycle. Look at this. It is like going haywire right now. So one of two things. There we go. Look, pictures there. And then all these crappy companies you see on social media advertising, they send you a box. If they see this, not that they're even seeing it because they're just loading it in machines and just running it, capture it through computers. They're not actually monitoring stuff like you see here, which has to has to, has to be done or else you're going to end up recording this stuff blindfolded and they just give you back crappy files. Um, so, issue with this. Sometimes you can give it a little bang. No, see that just screwed it up. That's sometimes. Or um, you've got uh, cleaning tapes. These are a hundred bucks, a hundred dollars for a cleaning tape nowadays. Um, and you can only use them once. Once you've like gone to the end, 10, 20 seconds, um, then that's that. Now, it could be the heads have been contaminated because these tapes do contaminate heads sometimes immediately, especially if they have not, if you haven't played them in many, many decades. Um, and you haven't played them in many, many decades, and all of a sudden you're just playing them again. Particles come off them, especially if they've been stored in garage attics. attics non-air conditioned, uh, you know, climates, hot, cold, hot, cold for many decades, um, then particles can immediately come off at the beginning of the tape and clog and contaminate the video heads. Um, so they need to be cleaned or the head video heads could be completely and utterly trashed um, and they need to be replaced, which is not cheap. And you've got to find an expert to do that. Luckily, I'm next door to Tim at Arizona Video Electronics by design, um, and uh, yeah. So anyway, um, but there's this is where you have to take the time to go through these tapes. If you're doing this yourself, you must need multiple players. I see you need three of everything, three of these. There's redundancies to check. Is it the tape? Is it the player? Um, let's have a look here. Exit, why is this up on here? I'm just gonna shut this down. Um, you need three of everything, three VCRs, three video weights, three mini DVs, all this stuff, because you don't know whether it's your tape or whether it's the player. Um, see, it's coming through now. So this did fix the problem. Although, why is the audio? Isn't this fun, ladies and gentlemen? All right. So there is a tape number there. So that problem did, it did fix the problem. These tapes, hundred bucks all day long. There's used ones going for that as well. Um, this is tape number seven. Let's have a look. So I'm gonna rewind it. Again, you have to be paying attention when you're doing this job because some people are just like hit play. No, it's been playing for a minute there. You need to rewind it. Um, let's see here. Ooh, that's not good. Sometimes it's the capture device. Sometimes it's you know, this, the cable is not plugged in. There we go. A one millimeter of this cable not plugged in it can cause that. And when you've got employees that are not paying attention, um, then, oh, come on. And again, I don't, I don't record blue screen. All these companies seem to record blue. There we go. So I just start the recording when it starts. So there we go. There is the clean picture and audio. And then you're like, is that a, a, a cicada in the background or is that the audio? All right. That sounds like, no, there's artifacts here. I can see it. I don't know if you can make that out, but it's not quite right. Sometimes you can just give that a whack. I'm not happy with that. It looks like he's got measles. Not that you 
anyone, anyone would ever, what's going on there, would ever pick up on that, but I do. My eyeballs, I'm OCD about this stuff. And now I need to find another player and everything's being used. Yeah. So again, this is where I say you have to have eyeballs on all this stuff. It's all running. And, you know, so if there's anything not quite right, you know, you can see it versus all these companies to maximize ef their efficiency, i.e. revenue. They all just have decks of players that are feeding into switches or, uh, and computer monitors that have tiny little like feeds, you know, like security cameras. You see where there's tons of cameras around in a, you know, industrial complex and there's a security guard that's half asleep um, and he's watching him. That's kind of ironic what's happening with this uh, industry. It's just a lot of employees that are asleep on the job. Okay, here's one that's open. That was tape number seven. You have to be really organized as well and you have to have all of your equipment maintained. <sighs> Efficient, come on. See, this isn't even picking up. All right, I've got another one here I'm going to try. All right, let's see. Now, let's see, if I hit fast forward here, because I had a problem in another video. Look, there it is there. So these tapes do have an issue. Um, and so do the players. So I make notes on the players. I put little red stickers on things sometimes when they're not working. Like all these decks here need to be cleaned because they've all been contaminated by one nasty job um let's have a look here so i'm going to let's see da, da, da. bear with me and let's close that door here and try this one here so this is what you need to be doing if you're doing if you do have your own business you've got to be monitoring this stuff you have to make sure that it's all tip top and yes there are going to be some trolls watching this that uh, go no oh, you're not doing like that you do it you run a business and try and do this if you're if you're doing this as a hobby yes there are other ways to do this which can you know increase the quality a little bit but when people are willing to pay two dollars for a tape transfer it's a whole different ball game when you're trying to make it affordable and reasonable for the average person that's got 50 60 videotapes um but you have to go through all these steps and that's why i charge more because i'm actually going through this stuff let me just make sure that was rewound definitely that um is a bug in the background see look it wasn't even rewound see because it was playing over on that one so you have to be switched on and know what the hell are you doing and be efficient Okay, let's see. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, man. Okay. All right, there we go. So I don't see any more artifacts, like ah, a little bit, but not that you can see it now. It's a lot better now. All right, anyway, so that's that sorted. Um, exhaustive process here. It really is, because I'm sometimes dealing with one problem videotape for like 20 minutes. Um, and then all of a sudden it craps out again. So you have to be have eyeballs on all this stuff. And, um, you know, it's all precious moments in life that people are entrusting you with. Um, and let's have a look here. I thought that was pixelation bars there, but it's actually the design of the baby carrier but anyway if you would like to get a quote gotmemories.com if you are doing this yourself all the best if you work for any of these companies my god clean up your act um <laughs> if if you'd like to get a quote gotmemories.com um if you're looking for the cheapest price you're kicking tires you're not serious about doing this properly do not waste your time or mine as i say in all my videos if you are in phoenix um, I am by appointment for drop-offs. I do have a storefront. I keep this up. This is Labor Day weekend, by the way, on a Sunday, and I'm in here transferring videotapes. Um, yeah, and that's why I charge a lot more is because I'm doing it. I'm professional, and I know all your stuff. I know whose job 
It's all very, very personal customer service. And all these other companies out there are just, it's a sweatshop, it's a transfer mill. It's just get it in, get it out cheap, churn and burn. Hopefully they're not gonna check anything. And uh, you know, by the time they do, they can no longer charge it back on their credit card, that kind of thing. So if you're serious about doing this and you wanna get it done right the first time and somebody to care about this stuff as much as you care about um, your home movies and preserving your family history and legacy and all of that stuff, um, then gotmemories.com. Um, but just to let you know, I, I do have minimum orders and I've only got so many hours in the day and I, knock it out of the park. So my reviews are the best you're gonna see anywhere in North America, probably the world in this industry, to have that many reviews with a 5.0 on Google. I don't know anybody that's got as many reviews as I got with a 5.0. And that comes from taking pride in your work, conscientiousness, all these kind of things. And um, something that's severely lacking in uh, the consumer market <laughs> with anything that you do, because nobody seems to give a crap these days. And I hate to sound like an old man here, but um, yeah, it's it's not good. And that's why all these companies have problems is because they're hiring and firing and they just can't find good employees. And I was there once with lots of employees and now I do it all myself. And also Samantha's with me as well. She's fantastic. You gotta pay your employees well. And when you have good ones, you pay them. And uh, you know, that you get what you pay for with this, but also with staff as well. So anyway, enough of my waffle. All the best to you guys. Gotmemories.com if you want to get a quote. If you are looking to do this yourself, again, all the best. You are going to need three of everything. And everything that you see on eBay is usually junk, um, unfortunately. So um, yeah, all the best to you. Cheers.